welcome to Cruising with John. Now I know what you're thinking, something for nothing, surely not. Well, let me tell you about something that I recently discovered and it may work for you. Now, recently I booked my first P&O cruise and like many, I wanted to find out everything about P&O or of course, the ship that you're going on. And so I trawled through the many websites, etc., until I came across a link that talked about uh, Carnival shareholder benefits. Now that uh, that got me a little bit intrigued, as I do have some shares in Carnival. I'm no expert, uh, and I don't ever try to uh, make out that I'm an expert. I leave that to other YouTubers, such as. Uh, Stock Mo and Larry Jones. So uh, if you do need any advice, I would go and have a look at them. They're, they're pretty good, pretty, pretty, uh, um, pretty much experts in their, their, uh, their field. Uh, so, um, so this is what I found out. So I'll go through some slideshows with you and hopefully everything will become clear. Okay, then let's see what we need to do to get our free onboard credit. Okay, so which cruise lines accept this? Well, there's quite a few here. They all sit underneath the Carnival Cruise Lines uh, umbrella. So we've got Holland America, Aida, Carnival, Princess Cruises, P&O Cruises, Seabourn, Windstar Cruises, and Costa. Show me the money. Okay, so what can I expect? based on how many nights I will be sailing. So as you can see, um, six days or less, $50 for US cruises. These are cruises um, sailing out of the US. Uh, so $50, uh, seven to 13 uh, days. It's normally nights, I don't know why uh, it says days. Uh, so you get $100. And then 14 days or longer, you get $250. So European cruises, 200 euros. Uh, sailings out of Britain uh, are 150 pounds for the 14 days or nights uh, or longer. And then Australian dollars. So any cruises from Australia, that's $250. That's not bad at all. Again, this is free money. Uh, that you wouldn't have obviously been given. And you can add this on top of any deal that you've already got from your travel agent or direct from P&O. So, you know, one doesn't cancel out the other one, which is always very, very good. Show me the money! So how do I claim? So for North America, you'll see that there's uh, contact details for all of the cruise lines uh, so Carnival Cruise Line, Princess Cruises, Holland America, Seabourn, Cunard and Costa Cruises. Now what you'll need to do is email your share certificate and details. I'll go over exactly what information you need to send later. But these are, these are all of the uh, cruise lines address details so that you can get in touch with them and to uh, get that information to them. So we have the Europe uh, Europe brands. So we've got Cru uh, Costa Cruises, Aida there. And then we have the brands normally sailing from the UK, such as P&O Cruises UK, Cunard, and then you've got the Australian brands there. So uh, you can always, obviously you can always call them. So if you're unsure of anything, just give them a bell. It does take a bit of time to get through to them, but, uh, you know, it's free money. It just take your time. OK, then. So what information do I need to supply? So obviously you need to supply your complete name. So any middle names, make sure you include them. The reservation and booking number, the ship and sailing date, proof of ownership of the shares. Now, as you can see there, photocopy of shareholder proxy card, a dividend tax voucher or a current brokerage or nominee statement with your current uh, mailing address and your brokerage account number blacked out. Now, you need to get this information through to Carnival no later than four weeks prior to your sale date or to your travel agent. 
if you leave it too late, they will not process it. Uh, I've done this uh, a couple of times. Uh, I did eventually manage to sneak it through, but that was just pure luck. Um, don't provide too much information. They just need to, to see this and to see that you are the owner of the shares and that the ownership doesn't belong to somebody else. Uh, and they are quite strict about this information. Okay, so if you have 100 or more Carnival Cruise shares, then this entitles you to free on board cruise credit. Now, if you don't have any shares, it's really easy to purchase them, uh, you know, using um, trading apps. Uh, I personally use Trading212. I'm not saying you have to use that one, but there's plenty out there. And um, uh, yeah, it, you know, it's uh, you have to have them at least four weeks uh, because uh, Carnival asks you to provide that information at least four weeks before you cruise. Uh, I would imagine that's so that they can process everything. But um, I sent them all of my information and I received confirmation within around two to three days. So it is quite a quick turnaround. But as I said, you know, it's free money. And if you decide after you've purchased your shares that you no longer want them, uh, just make sure that obviously you're selling them at either a gain. You don't want to sell at a loss or else you'll lose money. But uh, sell them uh, and you'll get your money back. Or just, of course, keep them if you decide to do more cruising. And uh, you may cruise on any of those cruise lines that... Uh, I've shown you in the presentation and um, uh, yep free money so if you've enjoyed this video please hit the like subscribe and notification bell and look out for more videos that are coming soon thank you